hello guys welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to league one predictions obviously the week is just finished but obviously midweek's coming up again from the league one and two and um, so the players haven't got long to recover uh, this video is sponsored by lol t-shirt company um, i'd like to thank you for their constant support um, in my videos um, if you don't know the part that a deal that I've done with them, they've agreed to my first lot of merch. The links for my merch are down in the description below, so feel free to check it out after watching this video. Um, but guys, you know you know what I do, so guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first guy I kick off with is Bristol Rovers versus Ginningham. Ginningham beating Wickham Wanderers two 0 uh, at home, Bristol Rovers beating Lincoln City 1 0 away from home. Now, with the brothers leaving Lincoln, is that possibly going downhill? I'll talk about that a bit more when I get to the Lincoln game. But uh, a great three points for Bristol Rovers, and also a great three points for Gillingham. Um, probably weren't expecting you know, nothing less from Gillingham. Probably a little mini step up from Lincoln, but obviously it weren't to be. Um, but, you know, Lincoln have got to move on now. Hopefully, they will keep climbing, but we're going to have to wait and see for that. But for this game, I've gone for a one-all scoreline. My next one is Coventry City versus Wimbledon. Wimbledon... Uh, drew with Shrewsbury at home 1-1 one, one. Um, Coventry 0-0 at Burton Albion both results um, I don't know how you quite sum this up really uh, you know where do you go from you know both games really I mean you know, point and piece for both teams, but for this one, I'll go for a 2 0 Coventry City win. My next one is Blackpool versus, uh, sorry, Doncaster versus Blackpool. Um, Blackpool mm, f losing 3 0 to NK Dons at home. Doncaster Rovers 0 0 at Ipswich Tail. Great point for Doncaster. Considering I'm considering extra style back preparation into the championship. Um, but on the other side of that, Blackpool loses 3 0 at home to MK Don. Disappointing that at the office for Blackpool. Um, but for as the game goes, I've gone for a 1 all scoreline for that one. My next one is MK Don's versus Ittridge. Two games I've just literally spoken about. Um, probably a disappointing game for Itchridge Town, but a great three points for MK Dons. Uh, you know, where do you go for both of them games, really? I mean, as I said, great three points for MK Dons and disappointing result for it, uh, Itchridge at home. But as far as the game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 MK Dons win. My next one is Portsmouth versus Burton Albion. Burton Albion, 0-0 at home to Coventry City. And uh, Portsmouth did not have a game because they were due to play Berry, But obviously what's happened to Berry, Portsmouth don't get a game. Uh, so they've had a bit of time off before this game. So, you know, where do you, you know, Portsmouth fans, you've got to be fancying your chances against Burton Albion. No disrespect to Burton Albion whatsoever. Um, but as far as the game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Portsmouth win. My next one is Watchdale versus Lincoln. I ain't long spoke about Lincoln. Um, but Watchdale... Lost 6 now away to Peterborough. What a great day for Peterborough. Um, 
as I, as I said, ain't long to speak about Lincoln Town, but losing one 0 at home to Bristol Rovers was a disappointing day for Lincoln at the office. But for this result, I'll go for a two one Lincoln Town win. My next one is Shrewsbury versus South End. Shrewsbury one one at Wimbledon. South End. 3-3 over Fleetwood. Um, you know, great point for Southend, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, you know, Fleetwood are one of them teams in the lower leagues that always fancies their chances. Um, but on the other end of that, Shrewsbury Town, great point at Wimbledon, I personally do think. Probably just a little bit more for Shrewsbury Town. But as far as this game goes, I've gone for a 3-0 Shrewsbury win. My next one is Sunderland versus Rotherham. Sunderland beaten Africa Stanley away from home 3-1. And Rotherham beaten Bolton 6-1. Bolton, you know, are in the stage of redeveloping themselves. And I do, I do know that Bolton went one new up in that game as well. So, even though Bolton did come away with the three points, if I was a Bolton fan, I'd be looking at that result with confidence. You know, maybe just a bit of work at the back they needed. Um, but, you know, both teams got the three points in their previous uh, fixture. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Sunderland win. My next one is Tramley Up versus Peace Bar. Peace Bar beating Rochdale 6 0. Tramley Up losing to Oxford 3 0 away from home. Both results are probably a bit expected, so I'm just going to give you the result. And I'll go for a 3 0 Peace Bar win. My next one is Wickham Wanderers versus Atkinson Stanley. Atkinson Stanley losing 3 1 to Sunderland at home. Wickham Wanderers losing 2 0 away to Gillingham. Um, both results, you know, probably were aimed to go that way a lot, especially in the odds. Um, I ain't going to knock it too much where both teams are as well. Um, you know, Accrington, Accrington and uh, Wickham Wanderers. So for this one, I've gone for a 3-1 scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend, and the, sorry, the midweek fixtures, is Bolton Wanderers versus Oxford. Oxford beating Tramia at home 3-0. Bolton Wanderers loses 6-1 away to watch that uh, Wolfram. But, you know, Bolton are at home this time. And they're playing a very OK Oxford side. Both results probably in the odds as well. So I'm just going to give you the result. And I'll go for it. And it's against the shot. Um, I know a lot of you probably going to laugh at this. But I'll go for a 1-0 Bolton win for that one. But guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.